Hey, Coach Anderson, how you doing, Brian? Doing good. How are you? Really well, really well. Thank you. Um, heard heard some good things about Harry Trotter over the summer from uh, from Chris Kleiman. He uh, said that he thought maybe Harry might break out season this year. What does Harry bring to the table? He he did have a great summer. Uh, uh, I saw a lot of videos of him working out, taking care of his body. And um, he brings to the table right now his naps in, in Big 12 game. He has that experience to tell those guys what it's like, what to get to get themselves prepared. So hearing about Tyler Burns and Joe Irvin and Jacardi are right. How, uh, how deep is that pool of running backs for you? It's very deep. It's very deep right now. I think the guys have come in and have done a better job of getting them and now they know what to do. And now it's just, you know, cleaning up their technique and, and getting them comfortable on an everyday. So I think Tyler Burns has done a really good job. He was a really good special teams player for us a year ago, but I think he's turned his body. Um, he's, he's got a better body now to play a little bit more running back for us. And uh, he knows the playbook inside and out. So I'm looking for big things from him also. also. Thank you. John Kurtz. Yeah, hey, Brian, um, what are you liking most right now out of Owen Jacardi and what they're doing? Well, I think they they both have, have flashed some things. Uh, they bring a different element to the table because of their athletic ability. Jacardi size, he's got really good feet. Um, so is his explosion, you know, once he sees a hole, he can get in and get out of it, and then he's got enough speed to get it over with. What have been your, your early observations of Keon? Mosey and Deuce Vaughn. Very, very impressive. I, I think the situation that we were in uh, early as far as walkthroughs in, and I think that's really helped them because now that uh, the plays are run, see how things are called, and now, so now we get in practice, things are a lot easier for them. You know, a year ago, those guys freshmen didn't have that opportunity to do those things as far as having walkthroughs. So they're learned. And uh, they're eager to learn, and that's what makes them, you know, really good players right now because they're eager to learn. Do you feel like they will be in the mix with a chance for some playing time this year? Well, I think, you know, everybody is because, you know, you never know the situation is going to be. So just like I told them the other day, you guys just, or, you know, get get the virus, you know, who's got to play? So you got to prepare like they're going to play. So I want them all to be prepared to play. Thanks, Brian. Adam Meyer. Coach. Harry Trotter had a breakout year, like mentioned earlier. Do you, from what you've seen right now, would you expect more of Harry Trotter to be the dominant running back in the back? Good, or would you go along with Jacardi and Joe Irvin playing time? Well, I think early on, just because of his main experience, uh, I could see him getting a lot of snaps early. But I also see those other guys getting better also. So we just got they all stay healthy and um, and see what game situations or, you know, what different plays other guys may play a different role. But uh, I think we get a deep pool working hard. And so just got to take it day by day. And, this, and then it got to be in practice. You know, I think that's a big part of it is, is uh, being very consistent and knowing what to do and not just in the run game, but also in the passing game. Kels? Uh, I got two for you, Coach. First off, would you say the, the news this week that the Big 12 is going to go ahead and try and play this season, was that a weight off any player's shoulders in your mind? Yeah, I think it was. I think it was. When we got the announcement the other day after a walkthrough, there was a, a big – you know, Rahu, you know, they were all fired up about it. So I think our guys are fired up to play and, and uh, they put in a lot of hard work. Uh, and so uh, I think they're ready to, to get, get the pads on and hit somebody else. And uh, just looking at Deuce Vaughn, his size would kind of indicate he's a little bit of a scat back more than like a course kind of player. But what, like, what have you seen from him so far? What, how does he, what kind of mold does he fit? Well, I mean, he has really good vision. He's got really good contact balance, and he catches the ball extremely well out of the backfield. 
Uh, so I'm just looking for him to continue to grow what he's seen and how defenses work in college. And, and uh, we'll just kind of play it by ear and see how he keeps developing. Bring the ball. I was talking to Josh over the summer, and he mentioned to me that he believes K State could still be number in kickoff returns. Seen so far from kickoff and proper. Well, I, I think that uh, we got a veteran group coming back on, and uh, so what we really need, but also getting the guys also involved and showing them the way. How important special teams is around here, and and uh, I think that those guys are hungry to continue what they started last year, and want to continue that trend. I've been a very good and special teams things, team. Um, one uh, at syndication was the only only guy on kickoff. And um, tell me a little bit about Philip Brooks and and how he's progressed. Uh, yeah, Dalton's the only one I think we're missing. Uh, up front a lot of good players coming back on that on then um philip brooks i yeah well right now he's playing strong uh he plays and uh, just got to keep him healthy and i th think he can be a better thank you Kels? from uh from purely a physical standpoint have you seen any maturation or improvements in here during the off season so far? Yeah, I have. Um, I think the biggest thing with him is just continue to trust his strengths and his strengths is, is hitting the hole, you know, you know, making first contact, getting, uh, getting through first contact. Uh, his contact balance is improved because of his strength. Uh, so I think he, as he continues to gain confidence in what he's doing, like I think he can, uh, I think he'll be just fine. Anything else? All right, Coach, thanks. Thanks, guys.